from ABC News headquarters in New York, this is World News. And Games for Change, the popular new video games designed to save the world. And coming up after a quick break, it sounds like a computer programmer's fantasy and a parent's fantasy as well. Video games that do good. Video games are often accused of wasting time or even promoting violence. But there are some popular new games that have a pretty lofty goal, saving the world. Here's ABC's Andrea Canning. Please, I'm your officer in charge for this World Food Program mission. Our job is to do an aerial assessment to get an accurate picture of the food crisis. Your mission in the new video game, Food Force? To save millions from starvation in the war-ravaged nation of Shaylon. You can see there will be no harvest this year. Shaylon may be fictitious, but its problems aren't. The video game has been downloaded four million times, and it's one of dozens of socially responsible games bringing issues like the environment and the Darfur crisis to your fingertips. Getting involved is part of the game. Survival of the camp is also assisted by you spreading the word about the game and about Darfur. Think of the concept as the opposite of the ultra popular and ultra violent Grand Theft Auto. We think games have the potential to have a positive and powerful impact on society. Games are really good for exploring complex social issues. And there's no issue more complex than the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So former Israeli intelligence officer Asi Borak created Peacemaker. Gamers can attempt to achieve Mideast peace by playing as the Israeli prime minister or the Palestinian president. You can actually dive into a situation and make decisions. I mean, this is very, very powerful. At this institute in Tel Aviv, they use Peacemaker to help Israeli and Palestinian teenagers understand the conflict better. I played in the, the Palestinian side, and suddenly I saw what is going on in their side. The makers of these games say in the near future, the technology will allow them to take a breaking news event and turn it into a video game within 24 hours or less. Let's say we have, you know, something happens in U.S. election. We can publish a game or a mini game in one day and let people respond to it and let people discuss it. And game designers around the world are hoping that more and more people will look to video games not just for entertainment, but for understanding. Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York. And that is World News on this Sunday. I'm